hey what's up so I actually wrote a review for the Saints Row reboot on September 7th but I never published it and I'll tell you why uh, how long ago was that? a month? <laughs> um, my plan was before I publish my review I'm going to go back and play more make sure I have everything correct and and I wanted to write all the bad stuff about it <laughs> just for the balance there because I actually had a lot of fun with the game um, but but I mean I forced myself to play through it because I had already pre-ordered it um, and I had a lot of fun I enjoyed the game I enjoyed it you know but it's got a lot of issues um, I don't even know if they've been patched yet uh, I haven't paid attention in a while I was up until about I don't know, uh, probably a month after the game launched. I was kind of on their Discord and uh, a little bit active there. And because I was so interested in the game at that, it's launch and it's in its release form, whatever. Um, but uh, that's kind of died off for me. And, and, and one of the big reasons is because after I beat the game, I went back to go play side content. Because I did a lot of side content during my playthrough, but um, I didn't finish it all. So, oh, crap. One thing, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So I went back to go play some, some of the side content that I hadn't finished yet. And I was like 90% done. Uh, I think it was 92% done when I finished the campaign. <laughs> so I you know, didn't have a whole lot left to do. Um, and I went back to go just do the little bits here and there and do some extra things and I started playing it and I was like I don't want to play this buggy messy sloppy freaking game anymore um, so I was I was just saving that and uh, there there was a lot of bugs I don't know if anything's been fixed because the last I remember that they were they were waiting a long time for um, for the consoles to publish the patch <laughs> They, they submitted the patch, and they have to wait for approval before it goes through, and they were waiting at least a couple of weeks, and I don't know. I did, I stopped paying attention, so I don't know if, if it's been patched. I haven't noticed a new patch on my PlayStation on Saints Row, but I haven't I haven't, I haven't done a manual check for an update, and sometimes I need to do that. Sometimes it doesn't auto-update. Um, so I haven't checked for a manual update on that, so I'm curious. Anyways, yeah, so I would not recommend buying that game in its launch form uh, at all. I loved the game. I had a lot of fun. I, I, I enjoyed the campaign. I didn't get super attached to anybody really. I did like the characters though. Uh, especially the further in. Like they're all kind of whatever in the beginning but by the end of the game I kind of liked all of them. Kind of. I think there was like one character I didn't really care for and I don't remember which one it was. Uh, I kind of liked them all. I, some I liked more than others, but I wasn't really attached to any of them. Um, but I liked the game, I, and the story was funny and fun and entertaining. Oh my gosh, there's a, there's a lot of great stuff. Anyways, um, so but I would not recommend that game without it being getting a lot of updates. So, <laughs> all that said, I forgot. I'm going to read my review, so let's see what my review says. I did take a quick glance at this and I was like, wow, I really praised this game and I kind of regret it. I don't, it makes sense why I didn't publish it too. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Very first thing I noticed in the Saints Row reboot on my PlayStation 4, uh, I mentioned that specifically because um, multi-plat, like, you know, you can have all kinds of different issues. Uh, the, main, the first thing I noticed was the aiming on controller port support super sucked. Uh, it felt like mouse controls, if you ever experienced that, it's terrible. I've played, um, I mentioned this mouse controls because I had this happen on Far Cry 5, I think? And, and multiple other games, too, where I, if I have my controller plugged in, um, and if I tab the game out, and then tab back in, the game stops using the controller and treats the controller like a mouse. It's terrible. It's it's really really bad. I don't if you've never experienced it. It's it's nuts. It's, it's it sucks really bad. So that's how the controls felt on the PlayStation Four. I was like, wow. I, I remember there was like similar complaints about uh, like something like that on Necromunda Hired Gun. Uh, so I had oh yeah, actually I played that like that. I forgot. I mean, it was it was. I mean it was 
I had to get used to it, but that's all it was. I got used to it, and it was, I liked that game. Anyways, okay, so, <laughs> uh, the aiming is fine and dandy when you force yourself to just stick to using the aim assist aimbot to target enemies, so you just keep tapping and shooting, tapping and shooting, just treat it like an arcade on rails shooter kind of a thing, um, and, and that, you know, whatever, like, it can be fun, like, that's, you know, if you just want to play something silly and fun, right, you know, I, I don't know, I dig stuff like that, if, if I'm in the mood, like, I don't mind, but it is, I, it, that was the first thing that, that bugged me about the game was the, the aiming was just so bad that I literally had to do the snap aim, had to, just, just to be able to play the game properly, like, or not even prop, but, you know, just to be able to play the game, <laughs> Uh, this is familiar to how a lot of older uh, shooters played out, and even some of the newer ones, including Crackdown 3 and Agents of Mayhem, both of which I enjoyed a lot. Yeah, and I, I remember some, like, a lot of the first shooters had that kind of aim system, right, where you, you just had aimbot. And it, you know, so now if, now if you were to think, you wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that a first-person shooter anymore, because that manual aiming has been so normal for a long time. Um, but anyways, I yeah, cracked down three and Agents of Mayhem. I, I, I loved Agents of Mayhem way more than Crackdown 3. But um, I, I enjoyed Crackdown 3. I completed it. It took a while. I didn't like rush through it. I remember I, I played a bit of it, like probably 30 or so hours when it first came out. Maybe. Maybe half of that. I don't know. <laughs> I played a bit of it, though. And, um, and then I didn't play it for months. And then I returned to it. And then I, I, and then I f went like full on. And I, and I really enjoyed it completed the campaign it's entertaining I, I wouldn't say the game's amazing I, I would just say if you have a game pass just play it for fun you know just play it for fun you might hate it but I, I had a lot of fun in Crackdown 3 Agents of Mayhem I highly recommend it's one of my most favorite games ever I'll friggin love that game but it does have that that aim system where uh you, it basically just snap 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 shooting you know so although I did not play it on PC uh, Agents of Mayhem. I only played it on PS4, so I actually have no idea how the, the aiming might be better on PC if you you know you prefer manual aiming and stuff. Uh, which although on PC, I mean, you always have manual aiming. Just sometimes you can tell how the gameplay is designed. You know, like it feels kind of off, and that definitely Saints Row feels uh, off. It felt it off at launch and stuff. Like I don't know if it's been patched. I, I would hope so. Anyways. <laughs> Once I got past my annoyance and frustration at not being able to comfortably manually aim, I started to just enjoy the aim by arcadiness of the game. The story doesn't start out very well; it ends amazingly. I thought I forgot about that. Yeah, and no, um, by the end, like I said, I, like I got it. I got into the characters and stuff. That's cool. There are a lot of entertaining parts and hilarious dialogue. The few cringe parts that you probably seen online, if it, any stupid complaints. A few cringe parts that I can't even really remember are made up uh, for by all the rest of everything being cool and funny. I remember there's a lot of people just, I like, that's the sheeples. I'm telling you, man. Anyways, uh, there was a lot of, like, <laughs> stupid crap. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, there were, like, probably a couple just bad jokes, but I couldn't even remember what they were. I just Because that's how every, everything is like that. Everything has, it's going to have the good parts and the bad parts and whatever, dude. Uh, anyways. So that was funny to me. The character and car customization is pretty damn epic and deep. I forgot about that. Holy crap. That's actually, uh, it's really cool in the game. The, yeah. Oh, my character by the end. Oh my god. I had so many really cool customizations. Badass. I love it. I have tons of screenshots on uh, Facebook. Uh, I'd say it's missing some things that I'd prefer to have in it, but there's a lot to play with as far as the customization. There's also lots of unlockable, unlockable customization that you can only get from completing missions and side content besides the stuff you can buy from the shops. Yeah, like, um, oh, well, it's probably mentioned in here. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the world of Saints Row is absolutely amazing. It's so beautiful. I wasn't sure I'd like it because I prefer cartoony or fantasy styled graphics. I'm not a fan of all the realistic graphics or even gameplay stuff. Like realistic gameplay like Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> I'm impressed by it and all, but I prefer fantasy. Anyways, the graphic style does not change the feel of the series. It still feels just like the previous games to me, which is great. I felt the same way about Agents of Mayhem. I thought, I thought it was unique enough to be its own thing, but you had the vibe of Saints Row. Was, I, anyways, uh, this one felt like Saints Row to me. Like after three and four, I, I was not. I never. I still have never beat part two. I played a bit. I went back like a month or two ago. I was playing it before the reboot came out. I was playing Saints Row 2 for the heck of it. I had just beaten 3 and 4 again for the third or fourth time each of those. Um, 
And then I was like, you know what? I never played part two and I happen to have it on Xbox or at least I thought I did. I thought it was in the game pass. I went, I think I bought it for like three bucks or whatever. Uh, and I started playing it and I was a few hours in and um, I, I just was playing other stuff instead. I was like, eh, I, I like Saints Row 2, but I wasn't too super attached to it. Like everybody who hates all the newer games is, you know, I love the newer games. I love three. I love four. Um, and not a big fan of the Gat Out of Hell. I was funny as hell, super funny, but gameplay wise, I was, and and visually too. It was just um, you just need more polish, really. I think I don't know, whatever. All right, anyways, <clears throat> uh, there's a lot of fun side content. My fave is the Dune buggy driving stuff and riding shotgun. I don't remember what the name of these missions are. The riding shotgun, I totally forgot about. Those missions are hilarious. Unfortunately, a lot of the combat is buggy with enemy AI, AI being bad at least half of the time. I still found these missions and gameplay fun, but they'd be they'd be far more enjoyable if the enemies actually perform like I'd assume they're supposed to. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I think the bottom two here I wrote might have been notes, but let me let me read these. Car chases suck as enemy AI tends to stay behind you and is very bad at catching up. Yeah, dude, car chase they weren't they weren't even car chases. Like you literally had to freaking stop, basically, to get them to catch up. And even when you tried to slow down, they would stay behind you. <laughs> it was it was terrible. However, they'll continuously spawn behind you when you think you lose them. Yeah, like I would I would be making the turns and trying to lose them and, and they would disappear behind me. They'd vanish, right? But I'd, I'd, be, the, I'd be like, that's kind of weird. It, it definitely was buggy. Because like, they don't just usually vanish. You usually like see them crash or whatever, right? But they just literally vanish. And then and then like two or three seconds later, it'd pop up again out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the side swipe mechanic of the car is cool once you get used to it, but it's damn hard to pull on enemy drivers that can't keep up. Um, but yeah, I mean, there I did get used to it after a while. I had to go out of my way to try allowing them to pass me just to attempt it. Uh, the side swipe was cool though when you when you get it to work. Like it's actually really badass. It has it has like an actual momentum kind of a thing to it. Uh, my character and custom weapon customizations keep resetting themselves whenever I shop and browse other customizations. That was one of the bug notes I had, and it was the only thing. That was the last note I had. So that was, my review was almost done. And then I was going to get into the stuff that bothered me. Um, so uh, as far as playing through it and stuff, I had a lot of fun. I love the world. I did mention that in this. And uh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I took a lot of screenshots. Uh, the character customization is pretty cool. There's complaints that doesn't have stuff that was in previous games, which of course it's always going to be a complaint. Like, why would you remove features that we liked before? You know, <laughs> that's it's always weird. Um, but I, I, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah. So the game was cool, but I, I, I have not kept up, kept up to date on what patches have done what. It would need, it needed a lot of work as far as polishing. I it, dude, I that was the one thing I remember when I played it. And my first thought was this was an easy eight out of ten, if it had actually been polished. But at, it was like a six to seven, um, mostly because of all the by the, the thing about it. Like in my my through my playthrough, and I played a lot about it. Probably I think seventy. I could look. I am booted the game in a while i think it, oh wait no i didn't have the time played that's always annoying i played a lot i played a lot like i said i was 90 like I, i'm pretty sure it was 92 percent um like as, as content wise and whatever uh done and i didn't have a whole lot left to do it was all like the harder ones to do um and and also not not just harder ones but ones that i didn't like there was a few, few of the side mission stuff the side content stuff i wasn't really into uh, i liked the idea but i was like eh, they just weren't fun to me um, but I also, I mean, I think if I probably wanted to take more time and, and get into them, then they, I might have enjoyed them more. But no, I mostly stuck to all the stuff I liked, which was pretty much everything. <laughs> um, but I had to, I had to force myself through the mess, the sloppy, buggy mess of everything. And and the thing about the bug stuff was, it, it, to me, it wasn't game breaking. I, it was just constant and everything. Every little like thing was partially broken like <laughs> um, it was playable you know it was playable so uh, so so i mean i can i don't know it's it's weird to me i i have this um i don't know it's wherever my head is but i mean i don't when i encounter that kind of stuff and i can see the vision and i can enjoy enough of the game to be like you know what this would have been freaking damn near perfect if it had actually been fully finished and finalized and really really fleshed out um 
that's what I see, and that's and because I did have fun, I did enjoy the game. So I don't. I mean, if if I were just just hateful, I would trash on this game for all these stupid little. They're stupid little things, but they are. Like, they're consistent. They're they're, they're they're the whole damn time. Um, very little thing. It's it's like I, you have to get used to all the bugs to play it, you know. Um, but I, I did enjoy it. I had a lot of fun. I, I decided, but yeah, no, I would not recommend this game before being fixed up. And I wouldn't even know. I mean, it would. T- <laughs> I don't know if they'll actually do it. I have no idea. I mean, I've noticed a lot. <sighs> Pretty much every game these days, they'll get some bug fixes, but they won't really fully fix it up, you know, especially, especially when the sheeple of the internet just, you know, are just sheeple of the internet. Uh, When it gets, you know, that kind of hate online for really no, just by stupid people that are literally sheeping along, literally, you know, just going with the crowd being stupid uh that kills this stuff it really does that's what kills it i mean it it, it's cool when and if a developer team can can keep at their game and keep pushing through and just ignoring the sheeple and then like and sticking with their community that they know enjoys the game Uh, and that isn't easy to do especially when most people who enjoy something this is something that's a long time thing like when people enjoy something they're the most quiet about it because they're not when people are angry, they're more loud, right? I mean, I, yeah, uh, I'm a loud mofo, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so the the ones that that are enjoying the game, they're just they're just enjoying the game, you know. I, like I see this all the time uh, about games that people ask this all the time, specifically about online games. Like, is this game dead? Is this game dead? I'm, I'm sure you've seen. Is this game dead? Is this game dead? Like, are there people playing it right now? It doesn't matter if there's only 20 people playing it. Can you play it? Can you jump in right now and play a match? Then go play it. Do you like the game? Go play it. Uh, do you like the game? Go tell your friends about it. And it doesn't mean they're going to like it. Just tell them about it. Talk to them. Do you like the game? Talk about it. What a share it with who you can. And, uh, you know, whatever. Um, but uh, people just... They let other people decide for them. Like... <laughs> I... I mean, I... I it's not nothing new. I just didn't realize how bad it really, truly is. And everything. Anyways, so that was my Saints Row partial review. And a reason I didn't publish it. I'm not planning to publish it either. I'm not going to. I just decided to record this video because I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, I'll share my thoughts on Saints Row. I, I liked the game a lot. I would definitely recommend it. With all its bugs at 30 bucks uh, maximum. You know, if you want to wait for a later sale, then wait. Um... I forgot it had uh, DLC stuff. I actually pre-ordered the the Super Edition uh, premium one that included that. I had a little bit of extra money, and I was like, all right, I'll 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 blow it on this. Um, oh, yeah. I don't remember where I got that. But, um, the moon is. But, um... So, yeah, so I, I played through 3 and 4. And, uh, enjoyed the reboot, through, But I... I I played just because I was going to own it anyway. I wasn't going to ask for a refund. I you know, I thought about it. I also, the main reason I thought about it was because I wanted to get it on PC instead. I got my PC a couple months or maybe three months after I had pre-ordered it on my PS4. And I had already played through and, and beaten Saints Row 3, which is included with the, the um, bundle thing that I got. So I was like, I don't know if if they see that I played that game and I'm asking for a refund, maybe they'll think I just they'll just say like, oh, you just ordered this so you can play the game free, and I, which I wouldn't need to. But I, you know, I, anyways, at the same time, I just was like, ah, whatever. Because the, well, the main reason I didn't try to get a refund, I didn't want a um, PSN credit. <laughs> I was like, well, well, I, I'd rather get it back in my bank account than than. Uh, and then I could actually pay for it on, on PC, right? You know, so since I was just going to get a PSN credit if I got a refund, I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just play on my PS4. I forgot about that until just now while I was talking about it. So <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, no, so yeah, uh, I think 30 bucks is a, be a fair price if, you, if you're interested. Um, but the game is a, a buggy mess I, uh, unless they patched it already. But yeah, because there's no way I would recommend that game. I, I would say my thoughts on it. I'd be like, yeah, I liked it, I enjoyed it, but I was I already had it. I'm like, I was going to play it anyways. <laughs> you know, I was going to play it anyways, I'm, whatever. 
um, but I would not recommend to people to go buy this game in this current state. No, I, I, I it was I wanted to say it, but I also didn't want to trash the game because it, I really liked it. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Um, thanks for watching. On talk to you later. Bye bye.